Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Justin back for another weekly top five. For those of you who are new to the channel, uh, once a week I take a name out of this hat. I've got, you know, hundreds of different actors and actresses names and on there. I take one name, I give my five favorite movies of their career. It's not necessarily their best movies, but my five favorite movies. We've done the likes of uh, Wesley Snipes, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Anne Hathaway, Christoph Waltz, just to name a few. Completely random. There are names in this hat of actors and actresses I'm not even a fan of. So coming up with five movies would probably be, probably be difficult. But I had to put their names in there because I have to be fair to, to all of you guys. You know, because you may be a fan of an actor and I'm not. Like, I know people who love Marlon Brando, never been a fan. There are movies of, that he's been in that I like, but I'm not a fan of him. Uh, so one name, completely random. Grab my name. This week's weekly top five, Robert Duvall. That one's going to be interesting. Um, but... I'm up for the challenge. So weekly top five with Robert Duvall. Here we go. All right. So Robert Duvall's my five favorite Robert Duvall movies. This was not easy. I mean, he's had a very long and very successful career with a lot of great movies, but I narrowed it down. So, in my top five, I have to put The Godfather Part 2. Now, his role in The Godfather Part 2 is smaller compared to the original. But I, I really value the movie more. And ironically, part of it is actually because of the example I gave. I am not a fan of Marlon Brando or his performance in The Godfather. I just am not a fan of Marlon Brando. I think he was lazy. I think he was an overactor. And I think the quality got... It's a great movie, but I think The Godfather Part Two is one of those rare sequels that actually tops the original. So The Godfather Part Two makes the list. I'm a fan of Gone in 60 Seconds. I know there are some people like, oh, it's Nicolas Cage, how dare you? I'm a fan. I, I think it's a fun, entertaining, just sit back, relax, hour and 40 minutes, turn your brain off, and just, just, just ride, as Nicolas Cage says. I enjoy the movie. I think it's better than the original. Falling Down, very sneakily underrated uh, movie from the uh, early 90s with Michael Douglas. Robert Duvall, they had great tension throughout the movie. It's a very tense movie, but it's intimate at the same time. It's just a, a handful of characters, you know, thrown into Los Angeles. And it's, it's a really solid, you know, simple but effective movie. Days of Thunder, another one of those cheesy, just fun, sit back, relax, and... You know, have a good time kind of movies. This was really when Tom Cruise's, you know, career was starting. You know, it was steadily uh, climbing. You know, there are movies like Cocktail, Days of Thunder that people aren't a huge fan of. I enjoy the movies. I like Days of Thunder very much. I think it's a fun, entertaining movie. So that makes my top five. And Apocalypse Now, which I know another Brando movie. But thankfully... He's only in it at the end, but you can't deny how incredible the movie is, incredible cast. It's just, it's a hell of a movie. One of the all-time great movies uh, there have been made. So that's the top five. Godfather Part Two, Gone in 60 Seconds, Falling Down, uh, Days of Thunder, and Apocalypse Now. But he's had plenty of other uh, movies that, could make your list, could make anybody else's list. They get honorable mentions here. They just fail to make the top five. So you have the likes of The Judge with Robert Downey Jr., Gods and Generals, which being a historian, I can sit through a four-hour movie based off of 
Gettysburg all day, every day. Uh, secondhand Lions. I'm not a huge Haley Joel Osment fan, but it's a really good movie. Michael Caine and him work really well together. Deep Impact, which not as good as Armageddon, but it's still a fun movie. Phenomenon with John Travolta. You know, this was really when Travolta, he had, he had hit like his success with Pulp Fiction and then just a steady roll of decent movies came out. A Civil Action, Phenomenon, you know, just to name a few. Sling Blade, um, Colors with Sean Penn, um, The Natural, those are all honorable mentions. Uh, Bullet with Steve McQueen, they're all solid movies. He was fantastic in all of them. They just don't quite make the top five, but I could see why they would make your top five. But my top five, um, The Godfather Part Two, Gone in 60 Seconds, Falling Down, Days of Thunder, Apocalypse Now. That's my weekly top five featuring Robert Duvall. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. If you have an actor or an actress you want me to give my top five for, please leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys next time at the movies. Take care.